Despite a landmark agreement struck between South Korea and Japan late last year, independent actions continue to put the spotlight on the issue of Japan's wartime sex slavery even beyond the two countries. A resolution on Japan's past atrocities is expected to be introduced in yet another major U.S. city on Tuesday. Our Kwon Soa with this report. New York City is pushing for a resolution on the so-called comfort women issue. Marking International Women's Day, officials are slated to announce an introduction to the resolution at a press conference in New York City Hall Tuesday local time. It comes in support of a similar resolution passed by the U.S. Congress in 2007. The resolution demands that Japan formally acknowledge and apologize for its sexual enslavement of Asian women during its colonial and wartime occupation from the 1930s through the end of World War II. It also urges the Japanese government to teach current and future generations of its, quote, horrible crime. If adopted, New York City's resolution will be the third of its kind among major U.S. cities. One was passed last year in Chicago and another in San Francisco. The latter included a call for erecting a memorial in the city. 88-year-old Lee yong Su, a survivor of Japan's past atrocities, is going to attend the announcement in New York. While there, she will also deliver a rare speech at the UN headquarters during an International Women's Day event where she is expected to convey her view on the deal struck between Seoul and Tokyo in December on the comfort women issue. Only 44 South Korean victims are alive today, and many of them do not accept the agreement, saying it lacks sincerity and doesn't clearly state that Japan takes full legal responsibility for its actions. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.